people who work at a ball pen factory, what does it feel like to immerse your hand into a bucket of ball pen balls? Oh my god, something I can answer. My friend worked in a pen factory for three years so I called him. It's satisfying, it's hard to describe. If I had to find an equivalent it's like sticking your hand into a bowl of uncooked rice, but smoother and more satisfying. Once I put my hand in a bucket of BBS for a BB gun, it was kinda difficult to get more than a few inches deep but very cool to run through your fingers. Not exactly what Op wants but I have a bucket of 3 forward slash 8, 9, 5 ball bearings and it feels nice but it's very hard to push your hand in because feel heavy. I would assume ballpoint pen BB feel like very heavy softer sand. I bet it feels so fucking good, but I have a feeling that ballpoint pens are largely made by machines, and, as machines don't have feelings, it's an experience entirely wasted. It might not get many responses, but this is exactly the type of question we need more of. Do you need to try putting your hands in a bucket of chia seeds? My dad worked at a ballpoint pen factory many years ago, so I asked him and he said the balls are very tiny and came in little bottles that were only about two inches high, so there wasn't ever a bucket full one could stick a hand into. Disappointing. This virus got everybody fantasizing about just touching stuff. I was one of the first people to enter the Lego store in Leicester Square the day it opened. I can tell you now that being the first to dip a hand into the clean Lego heads and singular teeny discs was sublime. I never knew I needed to know the answer to this until now. I have access to a large quantity, literal tons, of small plastic beads about one min diameter, very similar to the size of a pen ball. Immersion of the hand doesn't feel especially amazing, but letting them run through your fingers does. Like cool rolly sand, spilling even a few on the floor creates an unbelievable slipping hazard. If it pleases the op I could probably dry out a small pail full and demonstrate. Things I didn't know I wanted to experience. Feels a lot like chewing five gum worked in plastics. The raw plastics comes in giant tubs of smooth donut-shaped beads. No hole. Sticking your hand in those is really nice. Massaging freshly made warm mozzarella is better though. Like Ameli sticking her hand in a bag of grain. Oddly specific. I misread the post and this whole time I was thinking about a bucket of ballpoint pens. I should read more thoroughly. You know, when you, like, you grab a woman's breast and it's, and you feel it and, it feels like a bag of sand when you're touching it. When working on building a concrete canoe for a competition, we ordered hollow glass spheres to mix in the concrete that were about 4mm across. Putting your hand in a bucket of those felt like your hand being completely surrounded by silk. Used to work at a factory that made among other candies, skittles, whenever cosmetic defect on the packaging happened, e.g., tears in the wrapper, improper sealing, the candy could be reused and a few of us would tear open and empty the skittles into these buckets approximately the size of a restaurant busing tub. By the end you could jam your hands up to the forums in skittles and it felt like a hand massage from heaven. Always made wonder what a full body kiddie pool full of skittles massage would feel like. So I work at an ice cream shop and we have a big tub of sprinkles. I always wanted to put my name hand in and have all the sprinkles run through my fingers. While one day I was told to throw out all of the sprinkles because they were old. So I finally had my chance. I ran my hand through it and it was the best feeling I've ever had. I can't wait to throw out the new tub of sprinkles. I've stuck my hand in the smell metal beads they use for shot blasting and the feeling is just wonderful. In middle school took a tour of a textile production place from the old days and remember stuffing my arm up to my elbow in this big machine full of tiny little cotton balls. That was cool. Getting shouted at because the antique tiny cotton balls was less cool. It's the balls.
So, I do not work in a pen factory, but I have been in one. My father was an exec at the Gillette Company which for a good long while was the largest manufacturer of pens in the world. Paper Mate, Waterman, etc. And then subsequently sold off the stationery division in, long after my father's retirement. We visited factories all over in general, kinder dad's thing, nerdy as he was, and proud of his job and company and people. The balls were made of tungsten carbide if I recall and they weren't manufactured in the factory, most of the pen really was built there, but the balls were brought in ready to go, I assume made by some ball specialist. So, they have these big vats of them, kind of like farming produced storage containers and you can walk right up to them. They are absurdly shiny and small enough that it's almost hard to tell they are balls and not a sort of textured surface. Anyway, you could absolutely sink your hands into that vat. Never did can't tell you what it feels like. Sorry. It imagine a bucket of BBS feels similar. Go do that. Subscribe like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe like and comment.